Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. So I hope you had a very nice weekend and uh, that you are ready for the class. How was the traffic tonight? It was raining. Everything was fine. Horrible. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, because the, the rain, it was very strong. And this, the traffic is the big, the big traffic. In mind for the time too because uh um uh, el traffic the traffic is the in the time in the high time mm, okay so that happens sometimes right let's hope these days that are coming are going to be better teacher how do you say a uh, hora pico that is the rush hour. The rush hour. Yeah. So, yeah, there are, I mean, sometimes during the day, the traffic is kind of normal, right? But when everybody get out of the job, ah, that is crazy. So that is the rush hour. Lots of people on the street trying to get home. So The sad this, moment. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, anyways. Good thing is that schools are going to finish very soon, so probably in the mornings at least it's going to be better, right? Yes, teacher. Good, perfect. So we're going to start by checking the attendance. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Hi, teacher. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Present. Good. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidoni. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Mendez. Present teacher. Good. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher. Very good. Perfect. So let's continue with the class. And let me just get here. Okay. Advantages of outsourcing a 3PL a service provider. So that's what we are going to check into tonight. So let me just get here and this is the presentation so uh well of course the first one is about money right so advantages on that one let's start reading and let's see how it goes um silvia patricia could you please help me reading the first one okay uh dry cost savings Third party logistic fields, especially in logistic, and does have a more extensive network that your company supply chain function. They have exclusive relationship within the logistics sector and can have greater influence during negotiations. They can also help to offer greater volume discounts to, to clients. All of these can minimize overhead costs by partnering with partnering. a three, partnering with a 3PL supply chain manage, management management field, management field. you can also say of making of infrastructure in the 
huge infrastructure investment as it can provide transportation, warehouse space, staff and tracking technology, among other things. Very good, perfect. So, drive cost savings. Third party logistics firms specialize in logistics and thus, do you know what is thus? Anybody? No teacher for me. Okay. And thus is like in consequencia o oh, así, así que something. And thus have more extensive network. What is network? Red. Red, very good. Then your company supply chain function. So what it says in the first line is that they have specialized. So they know they are experts and they have a more extensive network, more contacts. Uh, they have more people involved in the supply chain. So definitely is going to, they are going to save some cost for you. And then it says they have exclusive relationships within the logistics sector and can have greater influence during negotiations. So uh, yes, they have big influence on negotiation because they know a lot of people, right? They can also help to offer greater volume discounts to clients. Again, because of the contacts, because of the people that they manage these things, uh, they can get some discounts. All of this can minimize overhead costs. Overhead costs is like uh, any kind of cost, including in the processes. By partnering with a 3PL supply chain management firm, you can also save on making huge infrastructure. Uh, do you remember what is huge? Okay, huge is- Like, like a big teacher. Very, very big, um, very good, enorme. So that will do. Uh, infrastructure investment as it can provide transportation, warehouse space, staff and tracking technology, among other things. So I believe this is kind of clear, but I don't know if you have any questions here. Any word that you don't know? What's that mean to teacher? Thus. Line, thus. Yes. yes and consequence. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Any other word? Teacher. Hmm? The the traduction in Spanish for the title dry cost savings. Uh, it could be something like ahorros en costos de manejo de uh, operativos. It might be something like that. Ah, okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Very good. Okay, let's move on with the other one. So only the first paragraph. Uh, Oseas. Get access to expert expertise and experience. In today's complex global market scenario, it is told to anticipate and accommodate internal expertise, expertise. in all capacity. Excuse me? Expertise. Expertise, okay, expertise. In all the cap capacities and regions required. A 3PL service provider has knowledge and experience in matters such as transport documentation. Excuse me. Okay. Import and export international compliance and economic regulations, for instance. Businesses looking to expand into international markets can benefit or benefit from the logistics support and know-how that their partner can provide, thereby reducing costly delays, cutting down the cycle time, 
in making the entry into new reg region smoother. Smoother. Okay. Smoother, yeah. All right, so get access to expertise and experience. Uh, do you know what is expertise? It's uh, pericia. Very good. And of course, experience, right? So in today's complex global market scenario, it is tough. What is tough? It's tough cosas. No, it's tough, but this is tough. It is tough. Okay, tough is like difficult, very hard. Okay, and the first line is, okay, uh, so it is tough to anticipate and accommodate internal expertise in all the capacities and regions required. So that is the problem with these kind of situations, right? Uh, logistics, I mean, for logistics, it involves a lot of things, a lot of processes, a lot of, a lot of things. So, uh, it's, it's difficult. It's difficult to to get uh, to know everything that you have to do. Uh, if you are producing, I mean, imagine that you are producing three thousand products to have logistics for all these products. I mean, it's crazy, right? It's, it's not something that you can easily do. So that's why this happens. All right. It says a three PL service provider has knowledge and experience in matters such as transport documentation import and export, international compliance, and economic regulations. For instance, businesses looking to expand into international markets can benefit from the logistics support and know-how that their partner can provide, thereby reducing costly delays, cutting down the cycle time and making the entry into a new region smoother. What is smoother, do you know? Okay, like smoother. like a uh, more more soft. Yeah, softer, very good. Something very relaxed, very nice, right? That is right. smooth. So of course, if you get a 3PL service, um, they know many things. So they have a lot of experience. They know what to do in a crisis. They know what, how to handle different things. Definitely it's going to be something very easy for them. Uh, and it's going to be easier than if we manage everything here together. So, uh, any question here? How do you mean new how? Well, new, I'm sorry, new. Yes, uh, four, para, four line, support a new how, or new how, that their partner can provide. And then, let me just check. Uh, the support and know-hows. Uh-huh. Correct. No how. Uh -huh. I don't know what is that exactly to be honest with you. The, the, in the fourth line, teacher, support okay. and, and no know how. Ah, okay. Know how. That is the question, right? What does it mean? Yeah, know how is know how to do something. Conocer is know how is conocer. Know how. Mi jefe lo dice bien, bien a menudo cuando me dice es que hay que conocer el know-how de, de esta empresa, de esta organización. Es como conocer algo bien. Something like that. Conocer cómo se hace algo. In cómo general. se hace algo. Uh -huh. That would be very good. Ok, any other question? Yes, teacher. Teacher, in, in, in the same line, in the fourth, eh, support and know-how that their partner can provide thereby costly delays. What what is the mean that thereby? Okay, thereby anybody knows? Is, uh, the modo de reducir costos, the retrasos, costosos. Yeah, this is only thereby is something like así or de este modo. Like a dos. Yeah, like thus. It's, they are they are really simple. And maybe another one there is cutting down. Do you know what is cutting down? Uh, 
reducir. Reducir. Very good. That is reducir. Counting down. Very good. Perfect. Let's go to the next. It says focus on core competencies. And it says, let's see, Ramiro, could you please help me reading that? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Focus on core competen competencies. Outsourcing logics, logistic, outsourcing logistic will guide uh, your organization the leeway to focus on its core competencies instead of getting involved in the management, management of the non-core non very critical function. Your business can enjoy the benefits of logistical expertise without deploying internal resources. Híjole, cuántas palabras nuevas. All Perdón. right. <laughs> Excuse very me. Good. Casi, casi me muerdo la lengua. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, the thing is that this is very technical words, right? The words that are very, very nice to say something. When you are speaking about businesses, sometimes that happens. Sometimes there are words that are fancy, but you can use other words instead of, I mean, for example, right? So it says outsourcing, focus on core competence. What is core? That is the first question. Core competence. What is core? Core. Propias competencias. Competencias básicas. Básicas principales, the main Principal. ones. Okay. And then outsourcing. Do you remember what is outsourcing? Subcontratación. Very good. So outsourcing logistics will give your organization the leeway. What is leeway? Uh -huh. Le Libertad de acción. Very good. That is leeway. So you can see that. Um, there are many words. And maybe this one is not that common, but leeway is a nice one. To focus on its core competencies instead of getting involved okay. in the management of non-core but critical functions. Okay, so the meaning of this line is like your company has, I mean, imagine that you are producing cell phones, as we say before. Uh, I mean, there are many things involved in the production of the cell phone. Uh, and that is the core the core competences, the core things that you are doing. But also, you need to distribute the cell phone. You need to think about the transportation, uh, mm -hmm. the papers, the documentation. So those are non-core, not the principal activities oh, of your business. Yeah. But they are also very important. They are also critical functions. So in this aspect, uh, if you get a 3PL, that means that you will be able to focus only on your product, on the services that you produce, and not in the other parts. The other parts, you pay other company and they take care of that one, and that's it, right? So it says your business can enjoy the benefits of logistical expertise without deploying internal resources. Deploying, do you remember that? What is that one? We checked that before. Deploying. Deploying. Implementando. Very good. That is it. Deploying. Recursos internos. Good. Perfect. Okay. Any other question on that part? For me, not teacher. Very good. Perfect. Then it says gain flexibility and scalability. Very good. Let's check. Ernesto, please help me with this one. Okay, teacher, gain flexibility and scalability. Another advantage of th third-party logistics in supply chains management is that it offers <laughs> enterprises <laughs> the flexibility and scalability <laughs> to utilize supply and distribution resource based on current business needs. Thus, when sales are down, they, there are no redundant investment in on utilized research and when there's a surge in demand enterprise can upscale very good perfect okay let's check it says gain flexibility and scalability what is gain do you remember Can I... 
Very good. Remember that there are three words for that one in English. We have win, we have earned, and we have gained. So win is when you win a prize, for example. Gain is when you are speaking about experience or things like that one. And earn is when you have a salary, for example, that you get a payment, right? So it says another advantage of third-party logistics in supply chain management is that it offers enterprises the flexibility and scalability. What is enterprises? Enterprise, la Like a company. A company, very good. That is it. That the flux and scalability. What's what is scalability? Escalaje o escalabilidad. Very good. So sometimes companies, remember that the companies, because of many reasons, sometimes they want to scale, meaning that they want to produce more, meaning that they need more space in a warehouse, more transportation services, more of everything. So if you scale, that means that you have more production, you need also to think about these things, right? And in Spanish, no exists the, the word escal escalability. I don't think so, yeah. It's like crecimiento, something like that. But we have a word for that one. It's not for scalability, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. scale, when you want to scale, is because you are producing and you want to, to grow the production. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it says to utilize supply and distribution resources based on current uh, business needs. Oh. Thus, when okay. sales are down, there are not redundant investments and you unutilized resources. And when there is a surge, what is surge? Recursos. Mm, that is resource, no. but this is surge. Aumento. Aumento, it could be oleada cuando hay cambios. Enterprises can obscure. So the meaning of this one is that you. Okay, if the company decreases the production, no problem. You say the other company, okay, I don't need that much services. If you scale up, I mean, you if you upscale, that is, you need more, you, you are selling more products, then you can ask to the company, I need more space, I need more trucks, more services. And you pay for that one, and that's it. So it's very easy to change from one to the other one. But if you don't have, a 3PL, that means that you have to pay for more trucks. You have to have another warehouse. Uh, the investment is not good. Or if you have a lot of space and you are not producing that much, that means that the, uh, uh, you are going to have a warehouse and you are not going to use that warehouse. You are paying uh, too much money for the product. So... The, why this is why it's very very important, right? Uh, do you have any question here? Yes, teacher. Um, in the middle, thus, thus. Thus, aha, esa es la que vimos arriba. Alguien se acuerda que era thus? Like a difficult. No, that is tough. A thus, thus. De este modo. De este modo. En, Así en que, consecuencia, sí. En consecuencia. Very good. That is it. Good. Any other question? Eh, teacher, ahí es cuando traduce el tus when sales are down. Uh -huh. Por lo tanto, cuando las ventas bajan. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, something like that it can be. Yeah. Very good. Any other question? Okay, let's continue. The next one. Oscar Rene helped me reading only the first paragraph. Enable business growth and marketing expansion. The role of, of third party logistic in supply chain management is that 
drive business growth by giving companies access to make makers when they down how establish it present presence behind able to manage inventory a new market without having to spend money on warehousing equipment equipment and equipment. labor equipment and labor can have can some money as well of us the if effort of learning the logistical nuances nuances of the new market very good perfect so enable business growth and market expansion uh what is enable do you remember habilitar very good uh, business growth and market expansion it says the role of a third party logistics in supply chain management is to drive business growth by giving companies access to markets where they don't have established presence. So, uh, yes, uh, if you have a 3PL, that means that you are thinking to, to grow, right? Maybe you do business right now only in El Salvador, but in the future, you want to do business with Mexico, with Chile, with other countries. So the 3PL, they know how to do that one. So it's going to be easy if you suddenly you have a business with uh, another company in another country or in another region so they mm -hmm. can help you with that one. And then it says being able to manage inventory in a new market without having to spend money on warehousing, equipment, and labor can save money. Do you remember what is warehousing? Almacenamiento. Almacenamiento. Yeah. Nice. And labor. What is labor? Mano de obra. Very good. That is it. As well as the effort of learning the logistical nuances. What is, well, that is a plural. Nuance is the word. What is nuance? Matices. Mat matices. Very good. Nuances of a new market. Oh. So, yes, nuance because new markets, they have different regulations, different laws different ways of doing things, right? So that's why we are saying this. Yeah. Perfect. So do you have any questions here on this one? It's clear or chat. Very good. <laughs> okay, improve customer satisfaction. Definitely one important one here. Uh, Juan, could you please help me reading that one? All of the aforesaid 3PL benefits will lead to improved services and response time, timely deli deliveries and increase their brand re reliability. This translates to satisfied customers, the fundamental goal of all businesses. Very good. So improved customer satisfaction, of course, is a concept of all these benefits, right? So it says uh, all of uh, the aforesaid 3PL. What is aforesaid? Anybody knows that one? Aha. La mencionada, dice. Very good. Antes mencionadas. That is it. So all of the aforesaid 3PL benefits will lead to improved services and response time. Timely deliveries. So what is timely deliveries? Anybody know? Entregas a tiempo. Very good. And greater brand reliability. Do you remember what is reliability? Rehabilitar. Something like that. Reliability is like mm, this confianza. Something like uh -huh. that. This translates to satisfy customers. 
fundamental goal of all business. So, yes, if you have everything that we mentioned before, um, you are going to deliver the products faster, more convenient. So that means that uh, that is going to be better for you, right? Better for the customer. People are going to be happy. So you are going to have more customers, definitely. Any questions on this one? Good. How to select the right 3PL partner? That is a very good question. Sometimes if we have a company, and we want to hire a 3PL uh, customer service, uh, let's say in general or any 3PL uh, logistic service, we need to uh, identify what would be the best option, right? So let's see how it goes. It says, uh, do you need external help to select a 3PL provider? A consultant or consultancy knowledgeable in the domain could make the selection easier. So the first one, uh, let's see. Veronica, help me reading the first bullet point. Okay, only the first one. Yes, please. Okay, define and document your three pill requirements in, in supply chain and the result expected and state the products also set down what logistical responsibilities will remain in house. Very good. So the first thing that you need to do is to define and document your three PL requirements. So what do you want? What do you need in supply chain? and the result expected, and state their priorities. Also, set down what logistical responsibility will remain in-house. So what is going to be what you want, what you need from them, and what is going to be their responsibilities. That is the most basic part. Any questions on this uh, first line? For me, it's clear. Very good. All right. So, Roberto Carlos, could you please help me with the second one? The second one. Let me have, a, have an internal multifunctional team to would select and work the 3PL partner as logistical partner impact multiple stakeholders. There will also be wider acceptance and higher compliance if, if everyone concerned is involved for the start. Okay. So it says have an internal full multifunctional team to both select and work with the 3PL partner. So before you choose the 3PL partner, you have to have a team for to decide, right? to analyze what is the best option. And then maybe the same team or maybe other team that is going to be working with the 3PL part. As a logistical partner impacts multiple stakeholders. So definitely uh, the 3PL is going to impact different departments within the company. So we need to consider that one when you decide. Uh, there will also be wider acceptance. What is wider, anybody knows? Abarcar más para Very poder abarcar más. Very nice. Uh, wider uh, acceptance and higher compliance. What is compliance? Cumplimiento. Very good. So, yes, you are going to have higher compliance if everyone concerned is involved from the start. So, you need to involve all the people from all the departments. Because all the departments in your company, they have different needs. So they will have different points of view and different requirements that they need for the 3PL. And that is something very, very important. Good. The next one. Uh, Maria Julia, please help me with the next one. Three PL. Provider has the capacity 
capability, 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 capability to upscale, to upscale operation if when needed. Very good. So you need to check if the 3PL provider has the capability to upscale operations and if and when needed. Uh, upscale is the keyword here. Do you remember what is upscale? Okay, uh, in Spanish, we can translate that one like uh, escalar operaciones. The meaning is that you are going to produce more. So if you are going to produce more, you need that the 3PL adapts to that one. So they have more warehousing, they have more transportation resources, uh, more knowledge about markets we can expand, many things like that. Good, the next one is for uh, Mauricio Rivera. Okay. Can the provider offer customizations? The one size fields all template may, may not always be the ideal solution for your business. Very good. Also very interesting. Can the provider offer customizations? That means that they can adapt to yourself. You know, do you know what is customizations? A la medida. Very good. So, yes, the 3PL, they maybe have their own processes, but they need to adapt to your needs, right? Because your problem is unique. The one size fits all template. What is one size fits all? Do you know what is that? Un solo tamaño para todo. Very good. Uh, maybe there are some clothes. Where well, it's like that one. No sé si han visto esa, eso en algunas ropas que dice one size fits all. Eh, eso quiere decir de que una sola talla para todo. ¿verdad? Ramiro is on fire for the words in English. Yeah, he's learning a lot. That's very good. Very good, Ramiro. <laughs> I have a, a good dic dictionary. <laughs> That's nice. That's why we're here together. <laughs> yeah. uh, only uh, the one size no working for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> There are different products. For example, the caps. You know, the caps. Uh, they in the in the this thing because you can regulate that in the back. Uh, it says something like that. It's not for all the products, of course. So uh, yeah. that meaning of this one is that one, right? Customizations. Can the three PL adapt to my needs to my product? Very good. So the next one is for Sandra Gomez. Okay, teacher. Does your potential partner offer solution in multiple segments of the supply chain? Or does it focus on only particular areas and solution? If your organization needs are you specific, you might want to look for nice nice niche. For no niche. niche. Uh -huh. Okay. 3PL providers Oops, sorry. other ways of a Timar solution you get out of a single provider. Timar seamless your supplies chain will be. Very good. So does your potential partner offer solutions in multiple segments of the supply chains? That means they not only are you charging delivery, but also warehousing, transportation, and documentation, and uh, different suppliers, different like. Or does it focus on only particular areas and solutions? So that is a very good question that you need to ask yourself. Right? If your organization's needs are very specific, you may want to look for niche 3PL providers. Do you know what is niche? Niche. Como el nicho mercado. Very good. That is it's a marketing word. Otherwise, what is otherwise? Eh, por otro lado o por lo por demás? De lo contrario. Very good. Todas las palabras que me dijeron le pegan a otras. 
So the more solutions you get out of a single provider, the more seamless your supply chain will be. What is seamless? Seamless. Uh -huh. What means seamless? La. Un proveedor único? Um, <laughs> yeah, and the first part is something like that one. But only seamless. What is seamless? La apariencia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The Google Translator is not possible, the traduction. Ah, uh, really? The the most no so possible. seamless. Ah, no, uh, no, no. Apariencia. Uh, no, okay. it's going to be, huh? Sin costura, this. That is the word, actually. That is the word. Is like, like a perfect? Uh, sería como no sería tan encerrado. O sea, la cadena de suplementos sería más abierta. Yeah. Más, más transparente, dice teacher. It could be something like that. Yeah. Ajá, okay. uh -huh. más transparente. Good, good. Perfect. The next one is going to be for Monica Avalos. Okay, it's not possible for her. Let's see uh, Blanca Tunaka. Ask for client preferences and check on them thoroughly and existing clients. Feedback can be the best indication of the 3PL provider's performance and reputation. Very good. This is a very good um, advice, uh, not only for 3PL, but for anything, right? Anything that you may want to hire, any company, anything like that. So it says, ask for client reference. So definitely, you can check what other customers of this 3PL provider says and check, in, uh, check on them thoroughly. Do you know what is thoroughly? Hasta el fondo. Very completely right everything you yeah. need to check everything and existing clients feedback can be the best indication of the 3pl providers performance and reputation definitely very good okay and the last one uh sylvia patricia check the Okay, there was a cut off, but of course I can't repeat. Check the company's financial health. Your business should not face unexpected turmoil and risks. Uh, because your 3PL partner can deliver on the promised solution. This is one uh, very good piece of advice as well, okay? So you need to check the company's financial health. So if they have problems with money, it's not possible that they can, uh, they can help you because maybe they are not going to be able to, to do certain things, right? Then it says... Um, your business should not face unexpected turmoil. Do you know what is turmoil? Confusion. Confusion, yeah, something like, yeah, unexpected turmoil. Mind that your delivery, the delivery of your plows has not been done because uh, the company has, I don't know, uh, problems, a financial problem. So that means that they, uh, uh, they won't be able to help you achieving your goals right and then it says in risks because your 3pl partner can deliver on the promised solutions uh do you have any questions on all these uh, lines that we have read oh it's very important checking the uh, financial health is uh, for don't have uh, surprises very very true 
yeah, you don't want to have some situations where uh, them are not able to help you in your work, right? So because of the problems they have internal, they uh, this is something that you need to do not only for this kind of thing, but with any kind of business that you run, right? So it's it's very very good. Let me check. Okay, this is for tomorrow. But let's continue then with the book. This is unit number two, logistics. So it says I will be able to explain the relevance of the seven R's in logistics. So what are the responsibilities of a logistician? Uh -huh. What do you believe are the responsibilities of a logistician? It's uh, necessary to deliver it on time and uh, with the, the very high quality uh, in the transportation and the uh, handling of the goods. Uh, definitely. Transportation, warehousing, handling the package, packaging sometimes, depending, right? Depending if this is a 1PL, 2PL, 3PL, 4PL, or 5PL. Um, the quality, the quality of the service in the logistic is very, very important. In, very true. In this process. Yes, yes, you're right, Dr. Ernest. That is true. The quality is a very, very important thing here. So, and uh, I mean, remember that, for example, if is the logistics is the final one that is going to deliver the product to the customer. I mean, the service has to be very nice right? because they represent your brand. Good. So let's check the conversation. As usual, I am going to uh, read. You check the pronunciation, then you practice, and then we check some vocabulary. So it says, sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that receive our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Do you have any pronunciation questions? No one. I'm sorry? No, sorry, no. Nothing. Okay. 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 If no pronunciation questions, let's practice. Let's see. Roberto Carlos and Ramiro. Okay. Okay, Roberto. Uh, I am Alex. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sales. Will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website, and the products were not delivered to the right distribution center. Okay, only that I, I don't use the the phone. I'm sorry. Sorry, not not use the the family boys. Ah, okay, no problem. <laughs> okay, uh, oh no, please call the manager for, from the distribution center that receive or batteries. We have no inform them of the right storage temperature. temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally. Yes, for the damage, damage, 
batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. So Thank now you. let's listen to Ernesto and Oseas. Oseas, I am, I am Alex. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, sales will go down this month, but there was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers from the distribution centers that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. Already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Very good, perfect. Now, Juan Roberto and Veronica Elizabeth. Hello, Juan Roberto. Okay, okay I'm, I am Alex. Okay. Sales will go down this month, Pam. There was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no. Please call the manager from the distribution center that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request for the damaged batteries to the bed to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Very good, perfect. Now, Oscar, Rene, and Maria Julia. Okay, I am Alex. Okay, okay go ahead. So, as we do, we'll go down. The month there was a problem with the order forms from the website and the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the manage manager from the distribution center that receiver or batteries. We have to inf to inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there are some things I have to tell to tell you. When the the crate was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will call them personally to request to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Very good, perfect, very nice. Now Sandra Gomez and Mauricio Rivera. Okay. You have Okay. Hello, hello. Sales. Okay. Sales will go down this month, but there was a problem with the order from forms from the website and the product were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Oh no, please call the managers for the distribution center that receive our batteries. We have to inform inform them of the right storage temperature. I already did, but there is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the batteries are damaged. I will count personality to request for the damaged batteries to be sent to the mass factory. They will know what to do, what to do. Very good, perfect. Uh, Monica, is it possible for you?
Uh, not possible. Okay, so let's see. Blanca, Tunaka, and uh, Jonathan, is it possible for you, Jonathan? I am fine. Okay, wait, wait. So not possible for Jonathan. Silvia, Patricia, and Blanca. I am fine. Okay. Silvia. You start, Silvia. You are okay, Alex. else we, we go down this mall. Uh, okay, there was a problem with the order first from the website and the products were not delivered. Uh, continue. Then. Oh, no, please. Call the managers from the distribution centers that received our batteries. We have to inform them of the rice storage tem tem temperature. Temperature. I read this butter is something I have to tell you. One of the crates was not handled correctly and the I will call them personally personally to request for the the magic battery yes. to be sent to the manufacturer. They will know what to do. Very good, perfect. So nice, everybody has read. So uh, let's check some words. Uh, let's see, what is an order form? Anybody knows? Okay, order forms, uh, las formas de órdenes. So, uh, yeah, it's when a customer, they want to place an order online. Uh, there is a, a form where they have to enter all the information. So, that is it. And, teacher, uh -huh. teacher it's, it's like uh, órdenes de pedido. Something like that, yeah. Son formularios. Exactly. Formulates. Okay, let's see what else. Storage. What is storage? Do you remember? Almacenamiento. Very good. Uh, crates. What is crates? Cajas. 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 Very good. Uh, yeah, very good. And let's see. Damaged. What is damaged? Dañado. Very good. Okay, that is it. Do you have any other question regarding this? In the case of the crates, the production is cajas. Yeah. Or yeah. The, difference, the difference when you use the ox on I don't know if I wrong a box. Uh, yes, uh, the difference is that a box is like a regular box. A crate is a big box, let's say, and almost always is made of wood. Okay. Thank so you. that is especially for transportation, yeah. Good. Okay, so... Let's do the exercise number three. Discuss the answer to the questions below, okay? So this is according to the conversation. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to, to check the answers and then we're going to check, okay?
Perfect. So let's check, my friends. Number one it says, what caused the products to be delivered to the wrong distribution centers? Teacher, for me, is the bad storage temperature. The bad storage, let me check. Uh, uh, yeah, right storage. Okay, that will be good. Number two, what happened to their products? Batteries. Batteries got damaged, right? So they were not. Here it says, "Is this crate was not handled correctly?" Mm, yeah, but for the products, if we speak about the products, the products were not delivered to the right distribution centers. Ah, okay. Excuse me. Okay. That will be it. And number three says, "Who will pump coal?" to receive the damaged products. To the manufacturer. Manufacturer, very good, perfect, nice. So that means that they are, uh, they are a 3PL. Okay, so let's go to exercise number four, building vocabulary. One of the most popular concepts of the logistics management is the concept of the seven R's. Match the headlines to their corresponding examples. Compare your answers with a part. Okay, I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to finish this exercise. So read all the uh, definition, let's say, and then you are going to put the right concept from the chart. Okay, I will give you a few minutes for this. Okay, teacher.
products that the customer needs either today or in the future or smartphone slot. Okay, my friends, let's check then. Who wants to read the first one? The right time is okay. for me, teacher. 
dry time. Could you please read the rest? Uh, could I you agree. Please... Ah, okay. Uh, could you please read this part? Okay, teacher. Yeah. Amazon must ensure products are delivered with within two days. If the customers can get it within two days from some other company. Very good. So uh, def, that is the right time. So Amazon must ensure. Do you remember what is ensure? Asegurar. Very good. Ensure. Very good. Products are delivered within two days. That is very good. Number two, who wants to read number two? For me, it's right. right products. Right product. Everybody agrees? Uh, could you please read uh, this, Roberto Carlos? Hey, Del Mas, have a strict process to ensure that products on their website are delivered to the right location. Hmm, right location. Or in Look the at right place. The right place. That is the right place. Very good. Okay, who wants to read the number three? Right quantity. Right quantity. Could you please read that? Grocer has to meet quantity requirements right for their customers and ensure right that the quantity of the product is not affected by perish perishability. Perishability. Very good. Nice. That is correct. So grocers, uh, do you remember what is grocers, my friends? Verduras. No. Very good. Something like that. Uh, uh, let's see. And perishability. What is perishability? Perecedero, algo así. Perecedero. So things that can ruin certain time. Very good. Who wants to read number four? Uh -huh. Right. Right. No. Right. 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 Okay, so everybody agrees on that one? Right product. Right product. Uh -huh. Can you please read that one? Well, I'm going to read. Uh, it says a local ketchup ma manufacturer may sell ketchup to retailers in packaged and labeled bottles and to a bulk consumer in big cans. Uh -huh. Interesting. So somebody said right product. Somebody said something else. Good. Uh, do you remember what is can? Latas or Very like good. a bottle. Very good. And bulk, do you remember what is bulk? Oh, no. Como grandes. Granel, no? A granel. Very a good. granel, okay. And what is labeled? Etiqueta. No. Etiquetado. Very good. Nice. Perfect. What about number five? What did you get in number five? Right price. Samsung must ensure that the model The right price. Right price. Very good. The right price. Samsung must ensure that their mobiles are charged with the corresponding prices to their retailer stores and customers. Definitely, this is that one. The number six says uh, products that the customer needs either today or in the future. Smartphones, laptops, HD TVs, etc. What do you get? Mm -hmm. Right customer. No. Right customer, very good, perfect. And the last one says HUL has to guarantee the sufficient amounts of Condition. products are available in the warehouse to ensure right time delivery to customer. What is that one? Right. 
right product? No. Okay. Condition? Uh, right condition. No, because it says sufficient amounts. Do you remember what is amounts? Huh? Cantidad. Yeah. Very good. So it's going to be the right quantity because it's a scenario. Yeah. Available in the warehouse to ensure. Yeah, that would be it. Good, good. So uh, this is a review of something that we said before, the seven R's, as you may remember. And let me see. Okay, we're going to do this exercise. It says, think of your own experience as a customer. Choose the three or seven hours. Okay, we're not going to do that one, but we're going to uh, work in groups. Okay, I'm going to create a group and then you are going to discuss experiences, good experiences and bad experiences about deliveries that you have seen. And then you are going to share with the class. Do you have any questions about the activity? In the, in the groups, uh, the discusses uh, around the good and bad experience for the for, for deliveries the, that you receive deliveries. from uh -huh, from uh, not only delivery but products any bad experience or good experience about uh, something that you ordered and something was very good and you say this is amazing or the opposite something very bad this is something very very bad okay 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 teacher thank you good let's make the groups then let's hope everybody can join okay
Okay, so let's see what you have discussed, what you have shared. So the first group is Juan Roberto, Mauricio, and uh, Silvia Patricia. Let's see how it goes. Mm, well, uh, we are talking about uh, some, about some, um, algunas uh, eventualidades. In my case, uh, my family bought uh, three armchairs and the store told us that we will receive six days later. And, but in the, in the end, we received them nine days later. I think that is a very common logistic trouble in, in El Salvador. That is actually true. Uh, I believe here in El Salvador, everybody promised something, but they don't do it, right? And companies are like that. A company, they say, you are going to have this and this and this, but not true, right? Not true. So we need to be careful about that. Very good. Any other experience on that group? Okay. Well, there was some cutoff, but okay. yeah, I said, uh -huh. I don't yeah, there was, yeah, there was some problems with the connection, I believe. So that that's why. But anyways, thank you for sharing. Urge Very good. Urge Starlink. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that that is something that I would like to try. I don't know. I don't know. How, how good, much is that? How much is the that? Good, the good commercial. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Do you know how much is that? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> Five hundred dollars. That's a lot. Yeah. It's Aguinaldo a, a here. Yeah, <laughs> but that is every month. Five hundred dollars every month. No, uh, just installation. So you have internet forever. And uh, then you need to pay forty dollars if if I I see, I think. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> but is how 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 many uh, megabytes is that? Uh the I I don't know. It's yeah. But, it should be but very fast. It's very fast, no? Uh, yeah, for no, that no money. Probado, no lo has probado todavía cuánto cuánto da de velocidad. Mm. No, no, no. Yeah, I just see that. Ah, okay. The commercial. <laughs> Yeah, but it has to be very fast. It has to be very, I don't know. But that is too much. I mean, the installation, sometimes I don't want to pay $50 on installation. 500 is, <laughs> is crazy. But anyways, I know that for companies or for some people that really need very fast internet, very nice connection, might be a very good, a very good solution. Very good, perfect. So uh, the next one, the next group is uh, Roberto Carlos and Veronica Elizabeth. Okay, star Veronica. Okay, ladies first. <laughs> you are the... uh, We are talking about the experience uh, of uh, Roberto Carlos Adiles. He told me he had a bad, bad spirit with the letters because sometimes he required products and never received, for example. And other times, her wife, his wife, uh, required products um, like shoes and size seven equal to use, but the size was little. In <laughs> fact, he had a bad, bad experience with the liver. Okay, yeah, that happens. Sometimes uh, that happened to me. Uh, I received a pair of shoes that it was seven. But it wasn't seven. That was like 40-something. I don't know what happened. So I have to return <laughs> that one. 
I mean, like a clown. Maybe Kevin too, but my our friend lost her, his money. No, good. That's not it's a, big, it's a big problem. That <laughs> my experience is bad with the delivery is bad. To difference in the case of Veronica, but she said that the all products that require required um, for delivery is all good. Because she, uh, in the ninety percent, uh, she received uh, the product that she required, and no problem with the time, no problem with the, the product, and only with with the uh, situation that I don't remember if you told me about the clothes, the clothes, and that the size is different, is more small. But in the case uh, with Veronica, uh, she has had very good experience with the service of the liver. In my case, it's very, very different. Uh, personality in four occasions, more or less, and the four occasions is a problem. Uh, because in one time uh, I I waiting for a save a product of the United States and coming in cheap is uh, I wait uh, 22 days more or less uh, to different that the the date that told me the company the company told me, in eight days, uh, you held your probe and past 13, 31, 32 days that I, that I don't receive the probe. It's bad experience for me. But anyone with, with his look. Okay, yeah, that happens sometimes. There are many, many good services and many bad services right and uh sometimes the problem is that sometimes we, based on experience sometimes we can continue buying sometimes we say now this is not for me right uh, good thank you for sharing let's see the next one is ernesto oscar and sandra okay okay teacher uh, teacher uh, with sandra and and oscar discuss the different um, experience about the good and bad uh, order order the the products, but um, I I tell us about my experience uh, in this example. I tell us uh, the good and bad experience in in the one in the one situation the, during the pandemic. Teacher, uh, the delivery wasn't very developed in the in the country but the friday with my family uh, in the during the pandemic i lived in the central market in san salvador uh, but the friday always uh, in the for the dinner eight pupusas this is the pupusa day the friday in the for the dinner but the problem teacher during the pandemic, uh, when I order the pupusas, for example, um, um, I don't know, I don't know, uh, the, the, different, the different companies, uh, they, uh, can, can't uh, give the pupusas in, in my house, but the only company that uh, the order uh, give me uh, the pupusas is the Pollo Real. Uh, uh, in this reason, this is a bad, uh, a bad experience, but the good experience for my family it was uh, eight pupusas in this in this situation for the for the pollos real. 
Only, only company, Valorulu. <laughs> only, only company, yes. This is, this is my, this is my experience. Okay. Hey, only, only. Okay. Hey, pupusa. If, yeah. you can, if, if you can buy pupusas, please order Pollo Real. All right, that's good. <laughs> hey, yeah, let's go. Okay. But, but you, you eat the eight pupusas alone. <laughs> eight, eight, eight pupusas for you alone <laughs> no alone alone no <laughs> no i i asked you for for i invited you i invited you oh, uh, right. uh, the, ah. the, the, uh, the pupusas uh, here in all of quinta hey, yes. very good we have yeah. to go there <laughs> here is a, a no recuerdo el nombre, el término concurso, el comelón de pupusa. Ah, ah yeah. very, very famous. Me 12 pupusas, algo así, ya te ganaste 250, 300 dólares. No, no, Roberto, I, I can, I can to eat uh, three or no more than four pupusas. Ya. Yeah. Yeah. My stomach is oh. very... It's very little. Little. I allow yeah. oh, okay, okay. My father is yes. <laughs> Okay, okay. Sandra. But the, the, okay, oh, okay, my experience. Sandra, okay, go okay. ahead. My experience when the order a bed a bed for my my dog from marketplace. Um the Facebook partner. <laughs> the first time I have the, no problem. But the my my order is is good. I I got um uh a order, no. Okay. And second time, um, uh order uh or 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 bed or camera, right? Other bed. My dog. Other bed. Um, they didn't the no delivery is not no it was already paid and they. No respond no 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 responded. I know. Yes. Oh, 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 mm, said I think um mm, robbed me. <laughs> oh, okay, no good. That's yes, okay. I pet I pet uh, the bed. I no responded no more. <laughs> That's the yes, robbed me. Uh, uh, después. Eso ya no volví nunca más a pedir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that experience <laughs> like that, they... Yeah. I have have a, I, Go ahead. Had two experiences. Uh, one in the Pizza Hut and another on the Pizza Hut. Okay. The Pizza Hut uh, did bring the drink and coming back to live it returned in my house. Oh, excuse me. Y trajo la bebida nuevamente. Se le había olvidado. En Zeta Gas, the gas cylinder took uh, three days to come. I call it <laughs> and not, not one gave, gave used an uh, acceptable answer. No response in three days. In my. Zeta Gas. <laughs> No response in the three days. That is crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank you for your experiences. That that's not good, right? I believe uh bad experiences are more clear. So the next one is Maria Julia and Oseas. Maybe not possible. What about Blanca, Tunaka, and Monica? Okay. Okay. Um, as customers, I think that a uh, product must have the main characteristic to purchase it, which are 
right condition, right price, and good product. For uh, with, with the right price, right price depend on the condition of the product. We will pay it it or not. Um, right condition, right, why the right condition? Since the nutrition that will be transmitted to her body will depend in good condition. And final right role in the price in the quality will depend on the benefits that the con consumption of the product can generate. Thank okay, you. very good, perfect. That is a very interesting analysis. So very nice, my friends, and thank you for sharing. Yeah, sometimes bad experiences, uh, they stay with us more, right? Because um, we never forget about those experiences. And sometimes those causes that the companies, uh, we don't want to buy from some companies, some platform or anything like that, right? But anyways, that's uh, something that happens in Latin America very common. Let's check the attendance and let's go to bed then. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present. Good. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Eh, Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Here. Good. Sandra Janira Gómez Romero. I'm here, sir. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, teacher. Perfect. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. Have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dreaming English. See you tomorrow, teacher and partner. See you tomorrow, teacher. Have a nice night. So Take you. Care. So you. Oh. Hello, Jonathan. <laughs>